English has never been really my greatest subject. I mean, I've done well in English in high school and stuff, but it's not something I voluntarily want to take. So, uh, but once I got into technical writing, uh, I liked it. It seemed like it was real world instead of just reading plays and stuff like that. So it's, it felt like something I could really use. I didn't want to take it. <laughs> I was scared to take it. I didn't like English in school. Um, but, uh, you know, at the same time, I knew it would be something that would better myself, you know, way better than myself. And I needed to take it, I just didn't want to take it. Recently, the English department at Virginia Hines Community College worked collaboratively with the technical and career programs on campus to develop the English 115 technical writing course. Our goal was to develop a course that would be more aligned with the needs of the real world writing and speaking skills of our students. Some of the projects that we worked on in this course include resumes, cover letters, we did uh, how to prepare an effective email, commu clear communication, we worked on contracts and proposal writing. Um, the culmination of this course was a field trip to a business and industry where the students got to actually use these skills that they had learned in our course. I'm a uh, 1978 graduate of VHCC, and when I was here, uh, there was a lady by the name of Miss Dolly Tarver that taught a technical writing course that uh, actually impacted my life. And so, this is my second time back as faculty, and uh, I wanted to uh, kind of reinvent the past because it had been so beneficial to me. So, uh, that's when I approached you about doing a, something that would be more practical for my students. The highlight, as far as I was concerned, was the fact that we had them to do a, a proposal and then uh, when that proposal was accepted to turn that proposal into a formal contract. In the career and technical programs, those students aren't likely to be transfer oriented. They're looking for skills that will help them in the job in the marketplace. And what they're getting in that English 115 is going to guide them in their careers and actually help them make money down the road. Every day, every encounter they have, whether it's with a supply house, a vendor, a customer, a boss, an owner, former or fellow employee, they're going to have to have good communication skills. And their profitability at the end of the day is going to depend on those skills of written communication, how well they can organize their thoughts, how well they can explain particularly options to customers about repairs or replacing equipment or performing their job. They have to explain to the customers what's happening with the equipment, what needs to be done, and this class helps them put those skills together so that they can present that to the customers and perform their job to the best of their abilities. Uh, I was uh, scared. I, I didn't like English. I don't do good with writing. I don't do good with sentences. And uh, but the new program is a whole different genre, I guess you would say. It was uh, more like on writing contracts and doing bids on jobs and help me with my essay, I mean with my uh, resume and writing my thank you letters and stuff. I liked it a lot. I think it'll make me look uh, a little more professional than I actually am with some of the writing skills that I learned because I'm not a real good writer, but the way I learned to do it with the contracts and stuff, I think it'll make me look a little more professional. I think it all, everything that I've done here with my trades and with the English and even with my math, it all just, I didn't think it did when I first came to college. I, even in high school, I thought math and the English, I thought they were sort of irrelevant for what I like to do. I really didn't think you needed a lot of it to turn a wrench or weld or use torches. But my last two years, it's all come together like a glove. It just fits like a glove. It all just works together. English terrified me because um, I never, I didn't finish school. You know, when I was younger, I, I didn't complete school. I went back and got my GED when I was like in my late 20s. So English was not a very good subject for me. But Barbara Emanuel made it, made it a little bit easier for me. So